Hi, I'm Nicole Erkin, Research Director for Mad Money, and I'm here with Ross Kenneth Erkin, Personal Finance Editor at The Street, who also happens to be my brother. And welcome to What's Workin', where we're interviewing young entrepreneurs about the new and exciting things that they're doing. Now today we're very excited to have Olga Vidisheva, who actually I happened to work with at Goldman Sachs many years ago, but she is CEO and founder of Shoptiques. So, Olga, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, very nice to have you. Now, I, I mentioned we were at Goldman together, then you went to Harvard Business School. Talk to us about what Shoptiques is and how you generated this very exciting company and the idea for it. Absolutely. I mean, you remember we were not sleeping ever, like two hours on the floor of a cubicle at Goldman. So my first vacation, which was uh, a year and a half into the job, I went to Paris. I got my eight hours of sleep, which was really <laughs> exciting. And I ended up going on a walk in Marais, and I found, stumbled upon really, this tiny shop, and I scored an amazing pair of shoes. They were flats, they were so much fun. And when I got back to New York, all of my girlfriends were like asking me, where did you get them? And I got them uh, the name of the boutique and they would call aggressively because we were all in finance, so we were very aggressive. <laughs> we would call the boutique and we were like, ship us the shoes, we will pay anything. And the boutique was like, no, we don't do e-commerce. I don't understand what do you mean ship to America. So I was like, it has to be that in 21st century, I can get a pair of shoes from Paris, you know? Uh, so I ended up starting a platform and, and kind of thinking about it further. How can I build uh, an online experience where women can uh, get access to this unique goods from all over the world? And when I was at Harvard Business School, my second year, I wrote a business plan on this idea, actually interviewing over 800 boutiques to asking them the same question over and over again. Why aren't you online? You know, it's that 21st century. It's clearly coming. And I realized that a lot of the answers I was getting was really operational support just as much as, you know, just building the website. Um, and that's kind of the story, the shoes, you know. But Very so, exciting. Olga, what I'm trying to understand is, you know, we could get tulips from Amsterdam in the mm -hmm. 21st century, but you can't get the high-class pair of shoes, the, the cute shoes, let's say. Um, you know, how did you leverage technology to facilitate this? How, how did you actually go to different boutiques and allow their products to become available on yeah. Shoptiques? Uh, it's really a 360 solution, to be honest. So uh, when you break down what the problems are, so the boutique owners are incredible at merchandising. So they know how to find that amazing shirt, that curated piece of clothing, like I'm wearing a really cool uh, shirt from a boutique in Boston. And so, you know, they know how to find them or how to create them, but they are not really know how to uh, click, care about click-throughs or how to care about how to drive traffic, how to market online. They have a really tight following of customers who are passionate about things that they they create and they find um, but then it breaks down because for online you actually have to photograph things you actually have to put them and describe them and you have to actually bring other people who are not just walking by so how do you do that and so we actually provide that so we find a store and I have a team now who is incredible who goes around and you know when we expand it to Paris I spend a month there walking store to store <laughs> trying to find those amazing stores and and we find a boutique and the value proposition is very clear, which is be online in two weeks in a stunning way, in a very professional manner. Then we shoot all of their products on professional models so it's uh, beautifully presented and they're not diluting their brand online. And then we drive traffic through different sources and avenues and we figured out really how to do that. And then the customer buys and it's a very clear proposition to consumer as well because they're getting this unique goods in a very safe environment. And if they buy from 20 stores, they're not you know, pay, paying for 20 different shippings or they are worried about this checkout. It's really all secure checkout, one shipping, you know, one destination for them. Um, and they come back to shop ticks over and over again to discover this new, new boutiques and new platform. And they start trusting us to give us this unique clothing from different stores. Now, it's such an exciting model, but I want to jump on the value proposition to the customer because this is what excites me about it. And I'm a customer as well <laughs> Yay. in full disclosure, mm -hmm. which is this, your motto, be unique, be different. Mm -hmm. Be yourself, be, be different. Be yourself, be different. Yes, absolutely. And this idea that, you know, today so many people go to a Banana Republic or a J. Crew and wear the same looking suit, but being fashionable is a, is a 
type of self-expression. It's just as important in the corporate environment when you're out on the weekend, mm -hmm. in all different types of environment. What does that mean to you and, and how does your employee base also embrace that? Because it seems like a very excited and passionate group of people. Absolutely. I mean, my employees are amazing and, and the team is really behind this is what makes this company special. Um, I came, I went to Wellesley College undergraduate and our motto there, and I really believe in this motos and believing in something bigger, uh, was women who will make a difference in the world. And it stuck with me because they weren't just empowering you women who will make a difference in the world as become Hillary Clinton or become the big person. It was very much become the best version of yourself and for me, clothing is very closely related to that. Self-expression and, and who you are and how you perform that day comes back to how you feel, right? If you feel and you put something different and um, you feel amazing, you're going to be so much more productive. But if you walk into a room and another woman is wearing an identical dress, you're just going to feel shy and, and you know, you're know you not going to stand out. And uh, It's just such an impact on how we perform in life. So for me, be yourself, be different is supporting women and I'm really big supporter and I've had amazing mentors along my in, in my life supporting you to become the best version of yourself whether you know you want to be the best mom you should be the best mom and we'll shop teaks we will be here to support you if you want to be you know the CEO of a huge company we will be here to support you too as you know we offer personal styling services for women who are really busy uh, you can pick up items uh, in store on your way home so we really want to support women along the way and boutiques do that through this curation you know most of the merchandise on shop teaks is one of a kind so if you scored that one piece of jewelry, no one else will have that. Or if it's five in the world, you know, we have celebrity clients and the reason they shop on Shoptix is it's not because they can't afford, you know, a uh, big brand. It's just because they want to be different, aren't we all, you know? Yeah. So you can really avoid that recurring nightmare of walking into the cocktail party in the same dress as someone else. Exactly. And the... I think importantly, and this is another thing I've realized, is that it's people have this notion that boutiques are very expensive. And that's not really the case. A lot of times it's up and coming designers that actually aren't charging mm -hmm. that much. Exactly. And so it saves you the time and also the money, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think it goes back to um, how do the uh, big businesses operate, right? They have really big expenses on having a huge real estate on Fifth Avenue. Then they have a huge marketing cost on top of that to promote themselves. These stores, I mean, this is really fair businesses for them. A lot of the times it's art. For them, self-expression and art is through the artistry of clothing. They can take risk in what they create. And, and that means that they don't have to upcharge you. They don't have to have huge markups on marketing expense because they just, you know, they, there's pure love, which is what the marketing is. When you come in, they just love it so much. So uh, they don't have to charge a, a crazy prices for something that is 100% silk or 100% amazing. It's, it's really very much about what it really costs and then you're paying for that, you know? So it's, it's really, really fun. I mean, items I could score for $50 look better than thousands of dollars items, you know? So it's awesome. Right. Well, we should also mention that you had your one year anniversary yes. yesterday. That's very exciting, a really big milestone. Mm -hmm. That's a really exciting company. You should check it out. It's shopteaks.com mm -hmm. and really wonderful merchandise. I know from personal experience, <laughs> I hope to look more. Unfortunately, Ross, I think you're not really going to be I'm able to not shop in the there. demographic. We'll hope, we'll <laughs> no, hope for shopteaks Ross, men. You're actually, funny enough, about 5% of our purchases are by men for their women. So you can okay. still score I can for score loved some ones. birthday, yeah. anniversary gifts. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we do personal stylings where we can help your loved ones to you know, spend right, well. their gift card. Olga, thanks for being with Thank us. You. Olga Vidisheva for shopcheeks.com.